working with strings and string variables, we've accomplished a lot. Still, we're a little bit limited, so let's look at adding input. And so we're going to use the input statement. So right here, I have the input statement as the second line. And I'm going to assign small int, a new variable, to the input. And before that, we have a message just telling the user, enter a small int or integer. So let's see how that works. So now it asks me, enter a small int. And so now I can put a small integer in there. And I think 3 is pretty small, so I enter that in. And now I've populated this variable, small int, with 3. And so I'm going to go ahead and print the output. And if I go to this cell below, I also have access to the small int variable because in a Jupyter notebook, any uh, variable, any object that is created in a cell, once it's created, it's available to all the cells. So now I can go ahead and run this cell. And it says the small int is 3. So that works. So let's go ahead and try it again. I put in a different number, 5. And so now I've repopulated the small integer variable, and I see 5 below there. So working with input, we can populate variables with strings and use them in our programs.